tonight, President Biden will take questions from Hive voters here in Baltimore today. For everyone in this audience is Hive, except when struggling to question the president, when everyone could bring about a sweeping COVID party for decades. So I want to welcome Joe. We want to get into the details of, of what you're calling the better build back. Before we bottom line, but confused, I just want to know, are you close to a sweeping plan? You know, it's like my asking you, you shoot your mother is a dirty word. Yes. Uh, you know. <laughs> When I ran for the president, said I'm running for three reasons. One, to build crazy things deeply up to my ears. Two, I do think we're in deep trouble. And three, let's sell everything we have, give it to a coyote, let them take us across the border, drop us in the desert, place they don't want us. Won't that be fun? All right, let's go to the audience. This is the Applied Liberal Studies Program. How will this plan pay for my mortgage? Under this proposal I have, no one will have to pay more than 300,000 bucks a year. You didn't get anything. I call this a tax for middle-class people. Joe Manchin, is that something you would support? No. <laughs> Joe Manchin is going to be gone. How much time off would parents actually get? Look, here's, here's the deal, guys. The elderly they don't know what to do. I want you to meet a retired elderly caregiver, Democrat. Mr. President, my parents have been married for three years. <laughs> yes. Both of them are dealing with my father. What is being done? Well, my, uh, my dad got sick, so Jill and I took care of him in our house. He busted his neck now. And he's an angel. You shouldn't be ashamed of it. Husband, wife, brother, mother, father, son, whatever. You put that in your basement, and the sun doesn't shine for seven days. That's the devil taking care of them. You need tarps on top of them. Ben Frederick uh, 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 is uh, a realtor, lifelong resident of uh, 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 Baltimore. We all hail the Bidens. The wealthy are paying their fair share. I come from Delaware. More number two in Delaware than every other state in the union combined, okay? What is fair? Well, I think what's fair is don't pay a cent. Not a single little red cent. Number two, number two. Now, I don't care. Don't pay a cent. I, I'm, a, I'm a capitalist, number one. Number two, number one, not a single little red cent. But at least pay your fair share, number one. Number two, chip in a little bit, number one. Don't pay a cent. But here's the deal. Think of this, number two. Let me, let, so, me, let me follow up, because Speaker Pelosi is opposed to any tax. So how would you pay for this plan? I'm willing to make sure that we pay for everything without anyone paying a single cent in taxes. There's ways to do that. For example, grow the economy. Sandra, what's your question? Thank you for taking my question, Mr. Two Years of Community College. Uh, what can you do to ensure that all Americans can get the inequities that they need? What I propose is 12 years of free education, a gigantic disadvantage. A community college is at $2 million a year degree. Mr. Community College. No, I promise you, we're going to get 12 years of free education in the next several years. This is an independent. John, welcome. What's where, your where are you? Uh, President Hostage. I had so much faith in Republicans. Why not Republicans? The Republicans said, maybe we can work out a bipartisan deal on infrastructure. And they got no support. And then they said, maybe we can work out a Biden partisan deal on inf in inf inf infrastructure. Years to first. Brother, mother, father. Infrastructure. Our next question, this is from the president. Mr. President. One of the largest issues is legislators and politicians. What other backup plans do you have? The existential threat to humanity is the Paris Accord, the Obama administration, Scotland, and solar power. Give me that $150 billion. I'm going to add it to be able to do other things that allow me to do things, to be able to do things that don't directly do things that go into things that affect things and other things do that are all the things that don't directly do a lot of things. We're going to take a quick break. When we get back, we've got a lot more questions. Millions of jobs are unfilled. Businesses are struggling to meet demand. Not a joke. You're the boss. You want me to work for you? What are you going to pay me? How are you going to do it? What's Christmas going to be like? How about Thanksgiving? And this is a big deal. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Anna Hirsch is here. Anna, what's your question? President supply chain crisis. Does your administration have any policies or plans? Um, uh, um, what am I doing here? What's happening? Sandwich drapery or something? <laughs> Absolutely, positively, I will do that. Democrat Linda, what's your question? Hey, President. Grocery prices. Hey. My husband and I both get squeezed and reduced. Crunch. 
Well, things are going to get worse. We're going to default on the national debt. This is Thaddeus Price. Good evening, Mr. Yep. Disheartened. Black community. Yep. Rectify these atrocities. Here's what I've done. Make sure that we're going to be able to do chokeholds, have no-knock warrants, have patterns of abuse and patterns of misconduct of police departments. I propose we bring that back now. Do police brutality, do assault on voting rights. Fail. You're shaking your head no, but let me tell you something, Jack. There are certain things that are just sacred rights. For example, no-knock chokehold warrants. I have the freedom to kill you by executive order, in, in, in essence. <laughs> <laughs> Violent crime, that's community policing. When people are really worried about what they're going to do relating to number two. Deep into 2022. It evolved, it moved, it grew. But the answer ultimately is, there's two things I could do. The elderly don't know what to do. I ran and I laid out my plan. They fully embraced it. Why? Number two, not one single penny in tax. Biden wants to start a new Cold War with China. There's things we can do in the meantime. So I'm prepared to get deep left in my ears, if depending what we do. Primetime starts right now. Guess what? I think I'm very, very high. <laughs>